Hi, this is Jody. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so, I'm doing another uh, set of glue books since um, the last set uh, sold out so fast. Um, people, I guess, uh, like um, that I have very thick pages and um, my glue books are larger and uh, more heavy duty and less expensive, I guess, than other people. Um, you know, maybe I'm not charging enough um, for my glue books, but I'm not in it to, um, you know, make it rich or, or make a lot of money, but I just enjoy doing uh, glue books and journals and stuff, so um, it, I just can't make them and let them sit on my shelf so um, the ones that I don't make for friends and family or people um, then I just you know I put them on my Etsy shop so I'm very pleased that people are extremely happy with mine compared to others they purchased I guess so um, I'm making another set I have one two three four so this is five I have five uh, glue book journals or glue books um, that I'm working on. So this one is Under the Sea, and it's a Discoveries book. So I just thought I'd pop on the camera, and I wanted to talk a little bit um, about the process. So um, so I've already, um, I think I have, our, I think I already did a glue book series um, before. So I, I won't do it again, because I already have done it. So, um, I've got all of my papers uh, and signatures made out, so I have, I always do four signatures and anywheres between uh, 12 and 15 about uh, pages per um, glue book. So and I always do a three inch spine so that it has plenty of room to grow. So I just thought I'd pop on the camera a little bit. Um, since this is spring and I wanted to talk a little bit about um, uh, my filming, so uh, summertime for me, um, we always go up to our cabin um, just about every weekend in the summer. So my crafting tends to be a lot lesser in the summer. So I just want to tell you that um, I won't be making a whole lot of um, like tutorial or <clears throat> or uh, you know like flip throughs I, I won't be making too many journals so um, I did start the book review um, uh, series so that is a little bit easier they're little short videos I can upload them quickly <clears throat> and so I will be doing those very often all throughout the summer um, so just know that um, uh, you know, I won't be doing a whole lot of uh, crafting during the summertime because it is summer and I want to be outside. So, um, so anyways, uh, you can just sit back and uh, watch while I work a little bit on these glue books. And um, I have to have a chipboard big enough for <clears throat> the spine. This book is... Uh, a little over 12 inches 12 by t almost 10 so this is a large book so um, I actually found this at Goodwill um, so this is a brand new uh, package of chipboard so you do have to have uh, something tall enough when you have these big books so <clears throat> uh, a little tip is that um, I tend to use um, game boards so you know if you're at a garage sale or um, thrift store or whatever or maybe you have some of your own um, I use uh, game boards because they tend to be as thick as a big uh, book board so <clears throat> so for instance here I have a monopoly one um, so you know they are very thick and that's what you want for a glue book for your spine. You you know, you really don't want to use thin chipboard because it's a lot of weight 
in a glue book especially because you're adding glue and adding paper um, it's a lot of weight so I tend to use so this one see I've already cut up this one and made spines out of it <clears throat> and fortunately this one isn't long enough to make a full spine so I have to um, find me some more uh, game boards you know and you can find them all the time at garage sales or in the free box because you know they're like they're missing all the other stuff but you know you want it for the chipboard so that's just a tip so anyways um, <clears throat> this is um, the piece that I need a size so I will hopefully this is wide enough now that I look at it six inches perfect so I will cut this um, I will cut this in half and I'll glue these together. I'll put them in my book press overnight so that it is uh, stiffer. Um, again, like I said, you want it to be really thick and sturdy. So I will do two layers of this. I can't do another one because I don't have anything long enough. So I will have, uh, uh, we'll glue this together. And so, and then um, this is my fabric for the spine. Isn't this beautiful? This beautiful huge blue um, just goes with this really well so <clears throat> I have these two little pieces so I need to sew them together um, to make them long enough to do the spine and um, I'll probably use a different fabric for the inside since I don't have enough of this so I love this really thick um, this is like a almost like a tablecloth uh, fabric um, and that's another tip too, um, you know, fabric as a fabric remnant seems to be expensive um, if you're looking for uh, remnants uh, or if you don't have access to them, but you do have access to like um, buying them online if you're not able to get out and buy them, you can buy tablecloths. I mean, really, tablecloths that are reasonable or on sale or clearance or whatever, um, you actually get more fabric, you know, if you buy 104 by, you know, like a banquet table size or dining room table size um, a tablecloth. And if you can read or see how thick it is maybe on, on online, that is much more cheaper than um, buying actually fabric. So that's just another, um, that's just another tip. Or if you're at a thrift store, look in the tablecloths. Look in um, curtains and your draperies. Um, that is fabric way cheaper also because it's so large. Um, so don't pass those up. So anyways, I'm just going to um, craft away here uh, while I work on these. And so like I said, I won't have a whole lot of videos going out starting now through the summer. So I just wanted to give you a tip on that. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Thank mm-hmm. you.